Not in my head. No, I don't think I'm crazy. Not in my head, but like through these headphones into my head. Oh shit! I'm gonna pick up this key. It can be used to open wing A. And then I'm gonna turn around. And nothing is going to be waiting for me. And absolutely nothing. In three, two, what's up? Ah! <laughs> well, continue. Oh, I don't even know which way I was facing. Let's see here. Now we're back. Um. Yeah, we're looking for room 106. Let me put the... Room 106. Room 106. Room 106. Not really sure room 106 was... What was that at again? I mean, it doesn't help... Oh, there we go. They're up top. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I really spoke too soon when I said I wasn't getting scared anymore of this game. I, I lied. I lied. They've got me good several times. 113. Are we going down or up? That's 114. That's 115. No, we're going the wrong way. There's 112. So why did that thing come out and jump up scare us if we weren't even going the right way? Seven. Here we go. One hundred six. Just gotta find. Well, not that. We're just gonna turn on the candles in here. Uh, he's got a locked chest. More kerosene. I'm gonna light this up so I don't have to use too much more of this lamp. I light this room up. We're gonna light it up nice. My goal was to get to 100 la uh, matches, but you know what? We don't even need matches that much. What did we come in this room for? Weren't we looking for like a registry or something? But there's nothing in here. Of note. Uh, oh, there we go. Document. That's probably the registry we've been looking for, huh? Um. <clears throat> It looks like a business card of some doctor rotate to find the hidden message. Well, let's read what's on this business card. 958 West Church Street, Miskatonic Campus, Arkham, Massachusetts, 55125. Herbert West, MD, Psychiatrist. Herbert West. Got another name to remember. Great. Uh, soon before the accident at the mine, the relations between my father and his associate became very strained. George was irritable because of the stagnation in their business, and for some reason he seemed to blame everything on my father or me. I might have been an insufferable brat, I can't deny that, but he kept calling me a lunatic and saw my innocent pastimes as deranged. Is it possible that he had brought a psychiatrist all the way here just to get rid of me? Or maybe it is about some other boy? Okay, interesting. I will admit. Please, come on. Come on. I just, I, I really didn't want to turn around. I was like, please don't have something going run at me again, man. Like, how can you not scream at that? Like, if something runs at you, you're gonna scream. Like, <laughs> there is a thing of unidentifiable origin charging at you, and you have no way of defending yourself or hiding. This whole inn is just haunted. Oh, is that it? Is that we just came to the room for that? For guess we gotta go find the registry after this too, as well. There we go. 
All right. I'm done with this room, but I feel like something's going to happen as I get closer to the exit. I'm prolonging the inevitable. We already opened this? Oh, it was closed. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say something was going to happen to me? Didn't I say it? I knew as we got close. I should have I should have seen you. I should have seen you with your closed doors. Should have known something was going to happen out of you. The good thing is like I was like kind of catacorner a little bit. I was like a little bit to this side. So when he jumped out, he like <laughs> he kind of missed me and jumped over here. So slacks to suck, man. That would have been more terrifying if it had landed on me. Like they put all their scares in this inn. Way more scares than we got in that, our creepy house. And our house is way darker and creepier to me. But this inn is just like a plethora of scares. And what's worse is like I went down a way I wasn't even supposed to go yet. And I got scared there. So it's like it doesn't even matter where you go. You're just going to get scared. I don't know how this kid is still sane. I really don't. I know we're looking for a registry now. We need. We already went to 106. The gender, uh, we already read that. Yeah, we did that. What is that? Stop oh, good. the gun. That's no Choice. Use. All right, let's go get frightened some more. Okay, okay, okay. I'm okay, just gotta breathe. Just gotta breathe. Everything is alright. Yeah, but I know he said the deranged dude is up here. I know he said the deranged dude is up here. Alright, I see something that looks like it can move. What is this? What is that? Oh, okay, I see. I see what we gotta do here. Well, we, before we do that, let's go explore this room. There's a scare waiting for us over here somewhere. Locked? I smell flies. I, I smell flies. <laughs> I hear flies. Right, it's both locked. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That means I ain't gotta get scared yet. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. What's wrong with this guy's face? Is there somebody in there? Oh! Shiba, 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 Shiba. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. Okay. Three, two, just go. Is that the wind moving him or is he moving? I'm just gonna read this note. Turn my back to the creepy thing in the corner there. Christ, that madman not only stole a Union soldier's uniform and murdered three innocent people, but also planned an assassination of the president. Thankfully, he is dead now, but who might have killed him? Probably the same person that's about to kill us. John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Wasn't expecting that. That, okay. All right. All right. I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. The in-loving bastards that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the local woods, though. And instead of Lowell, I found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I'm making final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means? Yes, God is on our side, brother. He, too, wants our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. Are numbered. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I got. I trust God protects you the way He protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis, James W. Booth, John Wilkes Booth. Are we talking about what? Is this John? Well, I would assume James would also be John, right? John, everything went as... Or it's John's brother. Interesting. We're getting a whole history lesson here. I didn't expect that either. So, the Union uniform was just a disguise. It 
It's all getting more and more mysterious. Is it? I didn't even know we had anything to do with Union and Confederate soldiers and backwoods ass hating people. All right, let's just put this between us as I come to your side right here to check you out. God forbid he see a, a black man playing a video game, examining his body. This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Looks like he died a long time ago. Is he bound? Or is his arms just hanging? Those are huge shears in him, too. Yeah, he seems dead for a long... I hope he doesn't get up, but I have a feeling he's going to get up. That's not the last I've seen of that guy. It's going to be a loud crash. I'm going to turn around. He's going to be gone. Sure, open two at a time. Why not? What we got here? Nothing. 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 Okay. Locked as well. What is that? What is that photo? Oh, it's nothing. I'll light that up. Grab these matches. So this. Just waiting for it. When is the other shoe going to drop? Oh, it's going to ask for the shears so I can cut that. I'm going to have to go back, and that's when it's going to drop. Damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. Yeah, and we know where to get it to, don't we? All right. And I didn't I call it? Didn't I say he would not be in that chair? Ah. Ah, damn it. Okay. Okay. I'm not a punk. Let's go. What? But he couldn't just get up and walk away. He did it. Uh, let me go. Help! Is that a bomb? Help! I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard. Oh, the yeah. The assassination. Lick him of Peter's lies. Oh, yeah. In the eye. Right in the eye. You ain't need that. Is that a bomb? <coughs> this dude's got a whole bomb? You might want to get up. Please stop moving so slow. Throw this bomb somewhere. <laughs> what a weak ass bomb was that? <laughs> Alright, that actually wasn't as bad as I expected. That could have went a lot worse. Could have went a lot worse. Now there's just racist all over the floor. That's all. A pair of shears with rusty blades despite the passage. Of, yeah, okay, it's the same message as last time we picked them up. Cool. Yeah, no, the scares earlier were, were way worse than that. It's something about, like, cutscenes and not actually, like, having control that makes it not as scary. Because you're, like, a viewer, so, you know, you disassociate. Come on, one more. There we go. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck. Hold on. Let me open both doors. There we go. All right. I need you to crouch down there. Oh! Shh. I didn't even get to see the full thing and I jumped. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright. We yeah. Get that lantern out that I've started to grow fond of. 
I don't even use it for light anymore. It just... There's comfort in it. And I really wish they would just stop, like, throwing things at me. Search, search George's office. That's, a uh, Our father's partner, I believe. Okay. Just really shows you where you're at, alright? Folders I can't use. Lock pick. All right, we're back at it. Here we go. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Uh, okay, screwed that up. Here we go. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. Stop. There we go. Cool. Beaky doors, man. Don't need that. Uh, just looking for more kerosene fluid and matches. Oh! You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. Did that really happen? Did they plot against my father and me? Huh. Interesting. Got nothing. Got nothing. What is that? What do we got here? Keys, keys, keys. Can be used to access the reception and rooms 107 and 208. Don't even know if I need those rooms, but I got the keys for them. Back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Okay, so we're looking for the psychiatrist now. And we finally have the keys to the guest reception, so dope. We can go all the way back downstairs and hope nothing jumps out at us. More matches. Newspaper clipping. Rotate to find the hidden message. Uh, Wednesday, September 13th, 1854. Blackstone, New Hampshire. Monday, September 11th. The sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who, badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A five hundred dollar reward is being offered. Okay, isn't Norton? Well, we know who Norton is. Isn't Jacob Hyde our father? Aren't we a descendant of him? Or am I crazy? He's murdering a judge. Because we already know George Whitehead and um, Norton were conspiring against uh, our character and his father. Because his father wanted to give him the mine, I guess, and wanted to pass on inheritance to him, and George didn't want no part of that. 
Sounds like, yeah, sounds like they, boy with the matches. <laughs> uh, it sounds like like they all had some kind of deal, right? And once a uh, letter concerning the disappearance. Judging by the description, here he seems like a typical melancholic. But I wouldn't jump to conclusions and say that he must have committed suicide. Too many people have gone missing in these parts, and certainly not all of them were overly sensitive. Mr. Hyde, I have already written to you multiple times, but I have never received a reply, so I'm asking again, do you really not remember my brother Henry, who stayed at your inn two months ago? He is 31 years old, tall, slim, and wears glasses. He came to your establishment seeking some peace and quiet after a recent breakdown. As a young artist, he was planning to paint landscapes. He's always loved the serene atmosphere of this region and said that these mountains and forests struck the right chord in his soul. As I've mentioned in my previous letters, my brothers never returned home. Blackstone was the last place he was seen. I cannot dismiss the possibility that he may have taken his own life as it was full of suffering, but I hope that this is not the case. Maybe you can recall some detail that would help me solve the mystery of Henry's disappearance. Yours sincerely, Anthony Wilcox. So a lot of people are dying at this inn or mine for some reason. And I'm starting to think... Didn't they say something about, like, profitability started to go down? And that's what, like, George was upset about? What if... I don't know. Like, what if they stumbled upon some kind of creature or ritual or something where you needed to sacrifice lives in order to keep your profits going up, right? It's, a, you know, a life for a life or a life for a deal kind of thing. And basically, um, I don't know. Maybe... He said, I wandered into the mine. Oh, there she is. Whoa, what the fuck you want me to do? Hold space. What do you want me to do? Oh, am I supposed to run from her? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. I didn't expect there to be another person there. Creepy. Let's see if she actually chases me. Does she chase you? Oh, she does. Yeah, she does. Oh, she does. She does. She does. She does. Let's see. Are we looking good with the chase, or... How are we feeling, chase-wise? Okay. I know there's that guy. Ah! Oh! Oh, shit! I moved too slow. I moved too slow. <laughs> Try to see if it was gonna lag, y'all. I moved way too slow, and I got cut up. One grab and it's it. Like she grabbed me once and I was dead. And I, I did I did scream. I screamed loud. I was scared. <laughs> Yo, I made the cat run and leave the room. That's how loud I just screamed. <laughs> I got it this time. We've seen what you look like. Again, that's why I'm confused. Like if this is all in his head, why is um why is she able to kill me? Why is that a thing? Oh yeah, she's fast. Don't go that way. I remember that. Are you shitting me? I'm gonna go. I'm not even sure if that was the right move to make. I feel like it might have been. I think I'm safe. Oh, thank God. I am safe. I am safe. What happened to the thing we just crawled through? Did that picture just fall through it? Holy God. All right, let's make sure we don't miss any kind of items. Told you I wasn't going to die again. I'm not playing that. I'm not doing three times of death in 30 seconds plus a minute. That's not going down. We're not going out like that. I just had a cat try and join me up here. I guess she came back in for my my death scream. The end has by far been the scariest experience I've uh I have been through in this game. This was this is kicking my butt, man. Things that I have I was not expecting. I really thought I'd like more of a, a laid back experience this time around. I thought like I'd finally gotten to that place. And when you play a horror game, you get to this place of like comfortability with the game. Like you know what to expect. You know what's gonna happen. So you're not as scared anymore. Versus when you first play, you don't know how it's gonna unfold. And I thought I'd finally gotten to that kind of aspect of this game where I was like, no, nah, there's nothing this game can throw at me now where I'm going to be scared just because of my last playthrough. But now I'm realizing based because of, because of this end level, not true. They still got some jump scares left in them.
And even if they're like, I know they're coming jump scares, they're still getting me. Oh, we got a lot right here. Um, are those diamonds? They must have cost a fortune. And that Jacob? Who was he? Was it my father or one of the guests? If it was my father, that would make Madeline his... I don't want to picture that. Who are we talking about? What are we... To my dearest Madeline, Jacob. Okay. Yeah, they look like diamonds. We better take these diamonds. To my dearest Madeline, Jacob. Are these diamonds... I, I don't know. They must have cost a fortune in that Jacob. Who was he? Was it my father? Is your father named Jacob? I'm so bad with names right now. Or one of the guests. If it was my father, that would make Madeline his... His mistress? I don't want to picture that. Because didn't his mom like already die or something? So it's not like he's cheating. This. Madeline. Who could that be? Was she a guest at the inn? Did she forget to take her necklace from her room? Oh, is Madeline who's been chasing us around? That girl is screaming? This guy is really paying for the sins of his father. Madeline. Just says Madeline. Doesn't look like there's anything to gain from it other than Madeline. Alright, well, we'll just place that back right where we found it. You know what? Actually, the way I feel about Madeline right now, you lucky I can't open up a window and throw it against an invisible force. Here, Madeline, take your stupid pendant. Yeah, that's how I feel about getting gutted by Madeline for something I didn't even do. Oh, this is a long way down. Where does this lead into? Oh, it's the top floor. Okay, got it. Nice jump. Well, we completed the wing they said not to mess with. And uh, you know what? I can see why they said not to mess with it. So, yep. We're just going to keep that closed for now. And hope Madeline is not pissed at me. I'm stuck. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh man! Holy Jesus! Mama da ba ba da ba ha da gi ah! Hi ya! Hi ya! Hi ya! Hi ya! That dude kept on running. He didn't even disappear. He just ran right out. Damn it, game! You and this inn are killing me. Ah! Oh. Just gotta get through it. I thought we had gotten over all the scares. Thought we were good, man. Thought we'd come to an understanding. Which room did the detective stay in? I don't know. I don't even care. There's a picture that's locked for some reason. Okay. Oh, I wasn't trying to go there. Staying in room 203. That's upstairs. It looked like he never checked out. I don't want to go back upstairs. There should be a spare key somewhere. I don't want to go back upstairs. All the creepy is happening upstairs, man. And downstairs, and just everywhere. The window's locked. I don't want to go. Uh. Wait. Nope, oh, that's locked. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. I'm glad everything's locked in here. Except for my kerosene. And some matches that I don't even really use. I'm telling you, ever since I started lighting things up and carrying around that lantern, the scares have increased tenfold. I don't know if, like, this is their end game, and they're like, okay, we're just going to throw all the scares in here, or... And we use access room 202. Great. Places. The key for room 203 is missing. But maybe. 
Maybe I can get there from room 202. I must find out how much Gilman knew. About what? Don't you want to leave this place? Don't you just want to go home? Act what the fudge? We we just came through there, right? Yeah, this is not all in his head. I refuse to believe this is just all in his head. These things are hat. Do the windows just? Oh, okay, that must be the wind. The wind's acting real weird with those those shutters, man. Real weird. About how they're maneuvering themselves. All right, we can either go upstairs, which is where we're gonna have to go because we need to go to room 202, or we can see what's going on over here. I'm just gonna make sure I'm backed up so I don't possibly run into or see somebody that I don't want to see or run into. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That looks like a cross from Outlast. Alright, no scary-ish. No scary-ish. Making our way across... Oh, we're going back into the terrible wing, aren't we? Oh, great. Alright, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Tries we didn't get yanked through by a ghost right there. Gotta open these windows up so I can get in here. Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe not. Maybe we won't be opening that window up. Can we get in the window? There we go. Like, did we just trap Ghost Girl in here? Are we gonna have to run again? Oh, I'll take that. I won't. Oh, boy. All this stuff being covered up makes me think these blankets are gonna get pulled back. I think you just created your own language. She's going to trap you. <laughs> yes to the own language. No to the not. She's not going to trap me. I got sprinter's legs. I got those. Those runner's legs. The legs of kings. Can't trap a king. We don't die. We run and hide. Oh, God. Gonna stay down. Just I need to hide. I'm hiding. I'm already down. I'm right here. Look, I'm right here. I'm hiding. I'm I'm hid. I'm hidden. Unless he comes like over here and then I'm not really hidden. Do we need to go back? I will go back in the Did the thing close behind us? No, it's right there. It's okay. We're okay. Don't know who that is, but we're okay. Just gotta wait for him to disappear. We are a O. Okay, he's got the same loop it looks like and that's locked. How am I gonna hide? Where do you want me to hide at? Can I hide over there at that desk? Oh boy. I don't know man. I don't I don't I don't feel good about any of this. None of this seems safe for us. Okay. From two oh two I can easily get to the next room. Okay, okay. I need to know how much he has found out. Shut the hell up right now, man. Stop talking. This is not the time for that. Okay, so we clearly have to go that way because our... Oh, God. Which way is 202? Go. 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 You're not moving fast enough. We're not... Move! Get up! Run! Move! Go! Go! We're in the room! We're in the room! Close the door! Close the... Close the...